Yes, Prepo, and today we're back with another Doctor Who type video. This is a bit of a different one, um, a little bit sort of familiar to some people maybe, if you're familiar with the complete history of the Doctor and Master videos that I did a while back, but it's a little bit different as well to that and a little bit different from my normal content. So here we go, let's just talk about it. Sasha Dewan appeared in Series 12 as the Master, and a lot of people, a lot of fans particularly, were very confused as to how this worked, where this Master came in the timeline. Was it after Missy? Did Missy survive the events of the Doctor Falls? Or did Sasha Dewan come before Missy, in between Sim and Missy and all that sort of thing? There was plenty of different debates and there was no conclusive answer. However, a little bit more context was provided as well as sort of expanding the story just a little bit from Big Finish's Missy Series 2 in the story called The Lumiette. A few spoilers for that story potentially, but we're going to be talking about that today and how that sort of explains where Sasha Dewan potentially comes in the timeline and also how did Missy regenerate after the Doctor Falls? About a month or so ago, I made a video called The Complete History of the Master. It details the Master's whole life, animates the bits we haven't seen, and basically explores the side of the Master in character that we haven't actually seen in the TV show. This video is basically an expansion of that, almost like DLC, if you will. As when I made that video, the Lumia wasn't out yet. I listened to it, it adds a whole new context and just generally more information to work with. So this is basically expanding on that video um, and just sort of working with it in the best way possible, really. So let us talk about how Missy regenerated and who really is the Lumiette. The Lumiette is a character played by Gina McKee. She revealed herself to be an incarnation of the Master from Missy's future, but not in the way that we'd expect. The Lumiette was basically Missy's version of the Valyard. If the Valyard was an amalgamation of the bad parts of the Doctor, the Lumiette is everything that is good inside Missy. So let's tell the story as it happens. Missy gets shot by the Master, not being able to regenerate and lying there, dying on the floor of the colony ship. It's unclear whether she would have tried to regenerate here or not, but either way, the Twelfth Doctor blows up the whole floor of the ship, killing all the Cybermen, but leaving Missy for dead as well. At this point, Missy would have been physically damaged, maybe even like bits hanging off her, we don't even know, but an explosion to the face. It would have damaged her, on the verge of death, probably just burnt up, with no real way out, no TARDIS, no nothing. She somehow manages to crawl herself to some sort of place where she can conduct an outlawed Gallifreyan ritual called the Elysian Field. A ritual which splits a Gallifreyan's mind into two, cheating death and forcing regeneration in a dead or dying body. Missy, after spending years trying to be good and stand with the Doctor, uses the technique to split her mind, removing all that is bad from her conscious and regenerating, forcing an unlawful regeneration onto her body and regenerating into the next incarnation of the Master who we know as the Lumiat. The Lumiat is basically the good Master. She somehow escapes the colony ship, it's not really made clear how that happens. Presumably she had an extra spare team materialization circuit and built a TARDIS out of some scraps made by some cyber technology and all that sort of stuff. There was a lot of ancient cyber stuff lying about that she could very easily use to her advantage if she wanted. Again leaning into the idea that the Master's TARDIS in Spyfall is made out of a barn and isn't actually bigger on the inside. She decides to be like the Doctor, using the name the Lumiat and going back in time to foil various things that the Master tried to do. So the Master would start a war, the Lumiat would stop it. The Master would try and kill people, the Lumiat would stop it. You get the point. Missy and the Lumiat have a small adventure together, ending in Missy killing the Lumiat, causing her to regenerate into her next incarnation. It's not made clear who the next incarnation is, but she does regenerate, and it could potentially be Sasha Dewan's incarnation. There are subtle hints to the Lumiat incarnation starting to have secret desires of murder and other evil acts throughout the story that have been suppressed deep down but still exist. The regeneration into the next incarnation of the Master, presumably played by Sasha Dewan, could have unleashed that rage, that desire to murder, that desire to be the Master again. Or potentially, the Master stayed good, went to the Gallifreyan Matrix, found out about the Timeless Child, and obviously it broke the Master to his core, we know that, so yeah, they go to the Gallifreyan Matrix, they get shut down, they just totally overreact and then turn back into the Master and try and kill the Doctor and all that sort of thing. It does make kind of a bit of sense. Dewan might not be the incarnation after the Lumiat, but as far as things stand, it does clear up the timeline. You can have Sasha Dewan being after Missy without sort of ruining the whole redemption arc. The redemption arc pays off in this whole new character that we can now explore in the worlds of Doctor Who called the Lumiat. A version of Missy which is good, a bit like the Valyard to the Doctor. I really like the concept of that and hopefully the Lumiat might appear not only in the show but in future big finish stories as well because I really like the idea of the character and Gina McKee does a really good job of playing them. 
It's a way of continuing the master's story and letting the master live on without it being damaging to the whole arc designed by Stephen Moffat. In fact, even paying that off in a better way that maybe Stephen Moffat even wanted to. But there we go. That's the Lumia. That's the very short story that we know about the Lumia. And that is your explanation as to how Missy regenerates. I'm not the biggest fan of Big Finish stories. I think a lot of them can be somewhat unnecessary, but I feel like this story was so out there and tried to answer a question that was on fans' minds anyway. It just, it was very good. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. The fact that it really just went all out, having flashbacks to the Doctor Falls and Missy actually using this thing. It wasn't just exposition. It physically let us listen to Missy in pain, dying. And I feel like that's a very important part of the story that I actually quite enjoyed to find out about, you know, to experience. I'm very much looking forward to seeing where this character goes and I'm very much looking forward to seeing where it goes in the future. Maybe Chibnall will even reference this in the show. Maybe not but we can only hope. Anyway, that's basically it for this video. I'm aware it's a bit of a short one, not a very long one, but as I said, it's a bit of an expansion onto the Master's timeline. If you want to see more about the Master in the same sort of style of this video, I have a video called The Complete History of the Master, which you can check out on the channel. I put a lot of time and effort into it, and I'd really appreciate it if you go and check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, because it only makes sense. Comment below for any more Doctor Who-based suggestions in the future. Subscribe with notifications on, we're getting closer and closer to 20k, and yeah, it's just quite exciting at this point. So please, keep subscribing, keep putting notifications on, so you don't miss the latest videos and all that sort of stuff. Got a Patreon page if you want to support the type of content that I make on this channel in exchange for some early access content, your name in my descriptions and access to an exclusive Discord server. I've also got Twitter and Instagram for the latest updates, news and reviews as well. So check them out linked in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.